Go faster. Have a computer, then. Shut up! Just shut up, you idiot! Sheriff, this is no time to panic. This is the perfect time to panic! I'm lost, Andy is gone, they're gonna move from their house in two days and it's all your fault! My, my fault? If you hadn't pushed me out of the window in the first place... Oh, yeah, well, if you hadn't shown up your stupid little cardboard spaceship and taken away everything that was important to me... Don't talk to me about importance. Because of you, the security of this entire universe is in jeopardy. What? What are you talking about? Right now, poised at the edge of the galaxy, Emperor Zerg has been secretly building a weapon with the destructive capacity to annihilate an entire planet. I alone have information that reveals this weapon's only weakness. And you, my friend, are responsible for delaying my rendezvous with Star Command! You are a toy! You weren't the real Buzz Lightyear, you're a... Oh, you're an action figure! You are a child's plaything! You are a sad, strange little man, and you have my pity. Farewell. I have failed you, Anakin. I have failed you. I should have known the Jedi were plotting to take over. Anakin, Chancellor Palpatine is evil. From my point of view, the Jedi are evil. Well, then you are lost. This is the end for you, my master. That's you. Hang on, sir. You're a first year grad student. You just got finished reading some Moxie and Historian, Pete Garrison, probably. You're gonna be convinced of that till next month when you get to James Lemon. Then you're gonna be talking about how the economies of Virginia and Pennsylvania were entrepreneurial and capitalist way back in 1740. That's gonna last until next year. You're gonna be in here regurgitating Gordon Wood, talking about, you know, the pre revolutionary utopia and the capital forming effects of military mobilization. As a matter of fact, I won't because Wood drastically underestimates the impact Wood of social distinctions. Wood drastically underestimates the impact of social distinctions predicated upon wealth, especially inherited wealth. You got that from Vickers. Work in Essex County, page 98, right? Yeah, I read that too. Were you gonna plagiarize the whole thing for us? Do you have any thoughts of, of your own on this matter? Or do you, is that your thing? You come into a bar, you read some obscure passage and then pretend you, you pawn it off as your own? Is your own idea just to impress some girls, embarrass my friend? See, the sad thing about a guy like you is in 50 years, you're gonna start doing some thinking on your own and you're gonna come up with the fact that there are two certainties in life. One, don't do that. And two, you dropped 150 grand on a fucking education you could have got for a dollar 50 in late charges at the public library. <laughs>
I will take the ring to Mordor. No. I do not know the way. I will help you bear this burden, Frodo Baggins. As long as it is yours to bear. By my life or death. I can protect you. I will. You have my sword. And you have my bow. And my axe. You carry the face of us all, little one. If this is indeed the will of the council. Gondor will see it done. Here! Is Mr. Frodo's not going anywhere without me? No, indeed, it is hardly possible to separate you even when he is summoned to a secret council and you are not. Oi! We're coming too! You we'll have to send us all tied up in a sack to stop it. Anyway, you need people of intelligence on this sort of mission, quest. Thank you. Well, that rules you out, then. My companions. So be it. You shall be the Fellowship of the Ring. Right. Where are we going? <laughs>